Antibes is one of the oldest cities on the Côte d'Azur. The posh holiday destination was once the ancient city of Antipolis. Founded almost two and a half thousand years ago by the Greeks, the city boasts a 16th century fortress and historic city walls. In the center of the old town, you'll find the Picasso Museum. The famous painter had a studio in the building from September to November 1946. Picasso didn't live here, but he came here every day to work, usually after breakfast. He stayed until late at night, working under big lamps. The museum showcases 255 paintings, sculptures, ceramic objects, and drawings by the artist. Most of them are also created here in his Antibes studio. Some pictures were painted directly on the walls. None of the works is signed by Picasso, he only signed the works when they left his studio. The art created in Antibes is different from Picasso's other works. After the war, Picasso's works exploded in color. He began using lots of blue and aubergine tones. The Mediterranean context influenced him too. You can see that in the food, the zest for life, and the centaurs. Opposite the museum, there's a shop where Picasso fans can buy souvenirs. But limited edition replicas of Picasso ceramics don't come cheap. One-of-a-kind articles will set you back up to 60,000 euros. Picasso was just one of several artists to temporarily set up shop in Antibes. The celebrated American writer, F. Scott Fitzgerald, was also a resident here. The Antibes Marina is the largest on the Côte d'Azur and in Europe. The biggest yachts are moored in the section known as Billionaire's Quay. The city's new landmark rises above the harbor, an eight-meter-high work of art crafted by a Spanish sculptor, Chame Plenza. The old town is alluring. Its winding narrow streets and provincial market encourage visitors to explore. Weary tourists can rest their legs in the absinthe bar. The watering hole is dedicated to the once forbidden drink. Nowadays, you can sample it here in 40 different flavors. The high proof alcoholic beverage is served in a unique way. It's dripped into customers' glasses through a sugar cube. The absinthe drinks all taste different, and everyone has a different favorite. You could say the drink is celebrated here. It makes for a good, easygoing atmosphere. It's easy to get talking to people. For a bit of relaxation, head to the botanical gardens of Villa Touré. The gardens were planted in the mid-19th century. They cover 35,000 square meters of land and feature about 2,500 plants and trees, some of them rare, like this endangered Chilean palm, 120 years old, with a girth of three and a half meters. It's a pleasant place to find some shade in the city with an average of 300 sunny days a year.